Hi guys, welcome to another Windows tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be based off of the taskbar and this little program that I like to go ahead and call taskbar pinner is going to go ahead and show you how to pin any program or file or folder or shell program or library folder to your taskbar. Now the operating system that you have with Windows, it allows you to go ahead and pin certain things to the taskbar and not all or it allows you to go ahead and pin it but to the associated path so control panel you can go ahead and pin the windows update to the control panel but not windows update to the taskbar so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and walk you through on how to go ahead and use this program called taskbar pinner and uh, just go ahead and show you exactly what i mean if i were to go ahead and drop this picture down to the taskbar it's not going to work if i were to go ahead and drag this it's going to go ahead and pin it to Adobe Acrobat X Pro. However, there's going to be a shortcut for Adobe X and it's going to be pinned to the Adobe program. Another thing is if I were to go ahead and get this template, pin it here, it's going to go ahead and show me Adobe Photoshop program and there it'll be pinned here. Now, that's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is to pin the template the picture or the PDF or any other file that you choose to the taskbar and not to the associated path. Now inside this program what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on it and what will happen is we have three options. What we can do is if we can get to a folder we can go ahead and come here and we can either do one option we can either drag this folder or template onto the program and it'll be pinned. Let's go ahead and do a folder or a program that's not and that'll be pinned. We can also do this to a photo, drag it over the program and that'll be pinned as well. The second option is what we can do is the explore context menu. All we have to do is right click and then pin with taskbar pinner and that'll go ahead and show up and the third would be pinning with the located path where you go ahead and look and if we were to go ahead and select Joshua Fountain we can press OK and that'll show up as pinned and the other cool location we can go ahead and look for is pin a shell location which is your general stuff that you normally use which it could be computer could be programs and features and it could be Windows Update so we can go ahead and pin those items and those will be pinned as well. Now if we wanted to we can also pin a library which could be the basic ones or the ones that you created in your Windows library so by pinning those those will go ahead and show up one by one so that's how it gets pinned if you guys have any thoughts on it go ahead and give me a, a suggestion and a comment if you guys like this video and you like the program go ahead and thumbs it up and until next time see you guys later